How can you jazz up your gift cards this holiday season? You can liven them up with custom-made gift card holders. Hi, I'm Robin, and in today's video, I'm making a lasting impression for giving gift cards. For my first DIY, I took a piece of Christmas wrap, and I folded it over four times. Then I folded each corner up. And then I folded over both sides. Once I did that, I flipped it over and then did another fold on either side. I was able to insert one of the corners into the other and this is what I came up with. Then I took a piece of napkin and slid that inside. This is the perfect size for any standard gift card and you can choose whatever wrapping you have left from Christmas. For my next DIY, I took two sheets of square paper and using hot glue sealed them together. You want to make sure you have two different patterns. Next I folded it over into a triangle and I used a piece of wood to flatten out the crease. Then I folded over another triangle and flattened that out. Next you want to fold over each side and flatten. Then you're going to glue down each side and put down the triangle part and then put on a gem. I love the gem because I think it makes it look really classy. Once that's done, you can insert your card. I added some candy canes for a cute touch. My next DIY, I took some more paper. And I used my paper cutter to make it a little smaller. This is great because you don't have to use scissors and you can get a straighter cut Once I did that, I used my actual scissors to make some smaller cuts at the bottom of each of the papers, about an inch or so from the end. And I did this on both sides. Next, I took a smaller piece of paper of a different pattern and place that in the middle of my original piece. I rounded out all of the edges on both papers and then I glued them together. Once that was done, I folded over the flaps as well as the sides. And I used my little wooden piece to flatten out the crease. 
and I just made sure that everything fit well before I use the hot glue to glue it down. Now I didn't glue down the top, but the two sides I did glue down. Now when I originally bent it over, it wasn't lined up properly, so I had to fix it. Because I wanted the flap to come over the bottom. So you just want to make sure that it's perfect before you add the hot glue. After that, I inserted my card to make sure that it fit. And to secure it up, I added some ribbon and put a little bow. For my next DIY, I used Globeland Sweet Lemon clear stamps that I got from BB Craft. I'll link them in the description box below. I really love using these silicone stamps because they're a little bit sticky. And when you put them on the ink, the ink sticks to them very well. Then you just want to put them down on your paper and give a little push with your fingers and then release and the pattern comes out so beautifully. I used several of these stampers in a yellow color and then I had a green ink as well and I made some with that and I found that the green ink came out a lot brighter. It all depends on what color you're going to use. I decided to use green and yellow because it was lemon, lime, and leaves and different things. You, you had a choice of using lemonade as well. Next, using the same technique as last time, cutting out and rounding out all of the edges I placed my piece on top of the yellow paper and I folded over all of the edges to make sure that it looked like it would close properly. Now there is a tricky part because you want the flap to be over a bit and not just even. So it gives more of an envelope look. Included in the stamps are a couple of sayings and this one said sweetest wishes, which I thought was really nice because I could put it on the front of the gift card holder and then the people would see it. Here's how it's turning out so far. I decided to make a little flap to cover the top just to close it. And so you would see more of the lemonade on top. And I just added that on with hot glue. BB Craft has a YouTube program. You can get free products by doing videos for them. You'll get the chance if you have more than 100 subscribers. Check the link in the description box for more information. For my next DIY, I took red cardstock, folded it over, 
and then using my paper cutter, cut it down to size. I used a polka dot pattern for the embellishments of the red card and I cut them into four rectangle shapes and glued them down. Then I made a smaller rectangle shape and glued that down because I'm making a pop-up gift card holder. Then using hot glue, I glued it all down and I gave a little trim on the side. Using Finger Inspire six pieces, flower stencils, and paint, I dabbed the paint on to the stencil to create a beautiful pattern for the top of my gift card holder. I received these stencils free from BB Craft just for participating in their YouTube program. And I'll put the link in the description box below. Once I folded over the top, I added another piece of polka dot paper to the bottom. Here's how it looks so far. And then I opened it up and made sure that my gift card fit securely inside so that when you open it up, the gift card popped up. Then I added more embellishing on the top with the beautiful rose stencil. Look for it on the BB Craft website. And when you do, use the coupon ROBIN10 for 10% off the whole order. Here's how my gift card holder turned out. Liven up your gift cards with these custom made gift card holders. And learn how to store your crafting supplies and more. Click on the next video.